Not a baseball. And I hate to do this to you, Jerem. The Cougars, if you're not familiar with what happened last night and the scenario, here, let's just set this up for you. BYU lost one series all year in West Coast Conference play, and it was to San Diego, the number one seed in the West Coast Conference. A tournament. really good team. The okay. champs. Okay. The Toreros get boat raced. Thanks, Mike Littlewood. 21 to 3 by LMU, the four seed. So a grand slam happened in the first inning for LMU. That was the game winning hit. So all of a sudden, we're thinking, if, yeah, if BYU wins, they can avoid San Diego and play LMU. Okay. With that said, BYU goes into the Pepperdine game and they play great through seven and a half. Seven shutout innings by Brandon Kinzer. BYU's a pitcher. Three nothing. Dylan Robinson tacks on two more with the homer. Five nothing in the middle of the eighth. Then Pepperdine scores five. Kinzer's pulled. Mason Marshall. No, 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 no. Brandon got pulled when it was five to nothing. Mason five Marshall nothing. came in with the yeah. bases loaded. Yeah, which he always does. He always comes in and, and jams, right? Mantis, yeah. And BYU gives up five. Okay, so, whoa, 5-5 five, five going into the ninth. Then Hayden Nielsen, who had a game, goes four for five, three runs, two RBIs. Those two RBIs come in the ninth in a two-out blooper into left field that knocks into BYU goes up 7-5. In the ninth. Awesome. They're going to win. They're going to win, baby. They survived the comeback. And then BYU gave up three and got walked off in the ninth. Oh, the agony. <sighs> this is a double elimination tournament. So BYU's still in it. They play San Diego at 3 Eastern on BYU Radio. Yeah, and the here, here's TV. the tough part. You, you're you up five to nothing. And we, we we tried to put this in the context for like for like football fans. If you're up five to nothing in the eighth inning. we Okay, in terms of eighth inning, we figured out that that's about uh, mathematically, like 13 minutes yeah, left in the fourth. 12 to 13 minutes left in the fourth quarter. You're and up, you're up I don't know, 24 to nothing. 21, 24 nothing. Okay, and then you end up losing. That's a, that's a really tough loss because BYU played really well, except the last two innings they gave up eight. That's tough. There Not only a, that, yeah, like it's okay. So they come back and tie it at twenty four, and then BYU rises up again and scores two in the ninth. So so they lose this game, and that's a real bummer because now BYU has to win out. So today at three Eastern against San Diego, a team that swept BYU, the Cougars really have to bring it in order to stay alive. If they win, they'll play the winner of LMU and Pepperdine. The challenge, the Eastern. major challenge is how do you respond? Yeah. How do you get up after that, knowing that, like, we've got this game. We're playing in the winner's bracket. We're in good shape. We're not having to play San Diego. Now you have to play the number one seed, and they're ticked off because they just got rolled by LMU by 18 runs. Yes. Which is the equivalent of losing a football game, like, 90 to 3. Okay? <laughs> or something. Seriously. It is. Ridiculous. Like you, you remember when Brazil murdered. got boat raced by Germany, and there were all these mathematical equivalents, like seven nothing is equal to one hundred twenty to thirty, and yes. or whatever. Crazy. That's what. Yeah. That's okay, what. Okay. So just bizarre. They're ticked off. BYU is like, oh man. I wonder how BYU responds. Hopefully, they get up for this. The mental battle. And San Diego is the regular season champions. The, this is, backs are against the wall for sure. Season on the line. Uh, all indications, according to Mike Littlewood earlier this week, are that. Rucker will throw for BYU. I believe. And Michael Rucker can bring it, okay? The dude throws low to mid-90s. He, he can ball out on the mound. It's not that BYU can't beat a team like San Diego. Uh, they beat everybody else in the league, and some of those teams swept San Diego, okay? So they can do it. It's one game to keep your season alive. But it's tough when you score seven and lose, which ah. brings us to the stat of the day. It's the BYU Sports Nation stat of the day. Three. BYU's lost three games this season when scoring at least seven runs. The last two losses actually have come when BYU scored seven runs. So BYU needs a similar awesome performance tonight. Uh, but, but hold on to it at the end. And BYU did not trail in the game until the walk-off game-winning yeah. hit. They, they tied it at they five led, in the eighth. They led or were tied. Mm. That's yeah. It's a okay. unique. It's a unique loss. Got to give the karma to those guys. Good luck. Good luck to them. 